Hello friends and welcome to my channel. Today I have a pretty big layout share for y'all. Um, I will let you know if there is a video on the layout and where you can find the video. Um, just to let you guys know, I do talk or I will talk about my Patreon in this video. I know for some reason some of you don't like me promoting my Patreon, but it's my business and this is the way that I bring a little bit of income into my family. So uh, I will be letting you know if there are layouts in here that are on Patreon. Um, if you have a problem with that, this might not be the video for you. <laughs> so just like to be straightforward with y'all, um, almost every single layout share I get a comment somebody saying that I promoted my Patreon too much, but this is the only time on my YouTube channel that I really promote it. So, um, yes, let's go ahead and get started. Um, this is a layout that, that I created for YouTube, um, and I used my watercolors to create this layout, um, and it's a little birthday layout <laughs> with my puppy Maggie, um, and I did some silver and black splatters um, on the background as well and I love the way that this one came together. Next up we did some more mixed media on this one. I believe I used my oxide inks for this one um, and I think that this one was for Patreon. Um, I had a lot of fun creating this one and uh, yeah, this one was for Patreon. Just wanted to make sure. Um, and I used an older Simple Stories fall, I think two different fall collections. Um, so there is that one. This one is on YouTube and I love the way that this one looks. Um, this was a scrap lift, um, for my friend Leilani Scraps and my series that we're doing once a month. Um, it's called Scrap Lift Saturday or no, Super Scrap Lift Saturday. Um, and I, I just love this one. I love it. I really, really enjoy the look of typed journaling and I just think it just, it just looks so pretty. Um, so I would say this has to be like one of my favorite layouts that I've created in this pile. <laughs> so this one is on YouTube. Next up, we have this layout that I created using two different collections. I believe I used some Heidi Swap Honey and Spice and then a One Canoe, Two Canoe collection um, that is much older. Um, I can't remember the name of it. Uh, but I believe that this one was on Patreon as well. Um, and it was a lot of fun to create this one. Um, did some gold splatters. I used some sequins, which, which I haven't used in a while. Um, and I've been trying to use up um, some older products. So this was definitely fun to create. Next, we have... Um, a layout that I created using the Heidi Swap Sun Chaser collection. This, I think, is the newest collection that I have or that I've purchased. Um, this one was a lot of fun to create. And I absolutely love, 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 love the stitching. Um, I know it's super basic. It's just a back stitch. It's nothing like super extravagant. It's not like a whole bunch. But I really just think that that just adds something extra to the layout. Um, this paper did already have this circle here. Uh, I believe, I think that this paper, yeah. Yeah. So um, that was a lot of fun to kind of like make it stand out a little bit more. Um, and then these were pictures of Emily and Greg eating hot dogs in our, and Greg and I, like our hometown, where we're from, where we grew up. Um, and so I love this layout. This one is also on Patreon as well. Next up, we have another one using the Heidi Swap Sun Chaser collection. I have not done my journaling, but if you can tell, I have gotten better about putting my dates <laughs> on. I do need to do my journaling though. Um, 
so this layout um, was for another, I believe, Super Scrap Love Saturday. So this video is on my YouTube channel. I absolutely love this layout. Um, I really, really love the star stenciling and all of the different layers. And to be honest, I love this collection. I have used it a lot and you guys will see. Um, love this one. So this is on my YouTube channel. Next up, another layout <laughs> with the Sun Chaser collection. Um, again, I just absolutely love this layout. Um, and I believe that this one is on my YouTube channel as well. Um, just lots of fun. I did my date again, as you can see down here. Um, yes, I love that one. Okay, another one using the Sun Chaser. Um, I'm a little obsessed, I guess, with this collection. This one is on my Patreon, um, and I used some stamps and it clear embossing powder and my watercolors to watercolor all of these flowers and leaves. Um, the stamp set that I used is from Lawn Fawn and I had so much fun kind of incorporating my, my new love for watercolors with my love for scrapbooking in this layout. Um, and so I also put my date on this one as well. So yay me. Um, <laughs> next up, we have another layout that was a Patreon layout and I did the stitching again on this layout. I believe that I used a sketch for this one. I think, um, I'm not a hundred percent. I don't a hundred percent remember. Um, but yeah, this one was a Patreon video and I absolutely love, 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 love the way that this one came together. Um, I used um, the Damask Love newer collection. I can't remember what the name of it is. Um, it Life's a Party, I think, possibly. I think that that's the name of the collection. Um, but it's super fun and I really love it. Um, and so there's that layout. All right. Now we are going to start jumping into some Vicki Booten color study. There's going to be several in here that are from this collection. So in the month of May, I started a new series over on my Patreon called Use It Up. And each month, myself and my, some of my patrons um, are going to grab an older collection that we have in our stash or an older kit. And we are going to try to use as much up as possible. So I chose the Vicki Booten Color Study Collection. And I'm, I actually used it in May and I'm using it in June as well. And so, yeah. <laughs> so you're going to see quite a few with this, with this collection. Um, this particular video... Um, was on my YouTube channel, um, and I just absolutely love this. I think this background paper was just, I think it's stunning. I love, I love it. I love it so much, and uh, this is another favorite layout of mine from this past month. So that one is on my YouTube channel. Another one using the Vicki Booten Color Study Collection. Again, I've got my dates. I think I've put my dates on most of the layouts, not all of them, but most of them. And this one is on Patreon. Um, I did some stenciling with some inks and some splatters. And I believe that this one, I think this one was a scrap lift um, from one of my um, Pinterest layouts that I have pinned there. So I love this one. All right, moving on. This one is using Pink Fresh Studio. I, I didn't have much of this collection left. And I think that I only now, I think I only have like one 12 by 12 paper left in this collection and a couple, um, a couple of ephemera and some stickers left, not much. And this one is on my YouTube channel if you're interested in checking this video out. 
Next up, we have another one using the Color Study Collection, and I love this one. This is another favorite. Um, this one is on my YouTube channel. I believe I, yeah, this one's on my YouTube channel. Um, this one was so, so much fun to create. Um, I love the large title that I did here. Um, this one brings me so much joy. Um, and I have been using a lot of pattern paper lately. Like it's been kind of my favorite. So that's been fun. Next up, this one is actually one that I created live for my Patreon, and this was a lot of fun. Um, so if you are a patron, the replay is, you can click the link, it's posted on Patreon, and it's also posted um, on Facebook or in our Facebook group. So if you wanna watch the replay, if you weren't able to catch it live, you can always go rewatch it. Um, and so this one was using the Vicki Booten Color Study Collection again. And I just absolutely love this one. I love it so, so much. Lots of pattern. All right. Now, this is the most recent layout that I have on my YouTube channel. And this was for Super Scrap Lift Saturday with Leilani Scraps. And this, again, is another favorite. Um, I loved the idea of stamping around an image. I thought that that was just just amazing. And so when I saw this layout from Sarah, I just knew that this had to be um, a layout that I kind of scrap left, <laughs> scrap lifted, recreated um, in my own way. Um, but yeah, this one just makes like puts a big smile on my face. I love all of the stamping and all of like the little like enamel dots and hearts and splatters. I just, I I just love it. It just brings me so much joy. Um, but I did use the Sun Chaser collection for this as well. And then now we're going to get into the layouts that I created at a crop this past weekend. Um, I hung out, or I went and hung out with some friends and we scrapbooked together for the weekend. And so I think I created five layouts. None of these are filmed. Um, so you can't find videos to any of these anywhere. Um, but first, we are starting with this layout. I did some stenciling with Distress Inks, and I used um, an older Maggie Holmes collection, and then um, I used a butterfly stamp and stamped some butterflies on some pattern paper. Um, actually, it was this pink pattern paper, and I fussy cut them out and then placed them on here. Um, so there's that layout that's crumble cookies. We just recently got a crumble cookie in our city. And so I've been twice um, since they opened. Okay. This one is using the Damask Love um, Life is a Party collection. And I absolutely love this one. Um, again, I did put the date down here. Um, so yeah, this was a lot of fun. I was interviewed uh, for a podcast. And so I took a couple pictures with my mic before we started the interview. And then I took this one of our screen before we started. Um, I wish I would have taken one with all of us like together, but I just didn't think about it. And so, yeah, that was a lot of fun. So there's that one. Um, this one is a picture of me and my bestie, um, at Starbucks the last time we got together. Uh, I need to put the date on this one as well. So I, this is the only one I think that I haven't put the date on. So I'm going to set that over to this side. Oh, and for this one, I used an older Simple Stories collection. Um, this one's pretty basic. I think that this was the first one I did um, once I got there to scrapbook this past weekend. And so usually my first layout, I'm just, I'm keeping it pretty basic. Um just to kind of get going. And so, yeah, that was that one. And then this one was inspired um, by Allie Edwards. So <laughs> our first day, I think Allie Edwards is like the only videos that we watched. Um, so she does a lot of like background stamping kind of with words. And 
I, I know it's sad to say, but I have never watched any of Allie Edwards' videos. So, um, they just like threw me all into the Allie Edwards experience this past weekend. And I placed a pretty big order <laughs> with Allie Edwards. So I'm excited to get that stuff whenever it comes. But yeah, so I was very inspired and I actually used um, one of my friend's uh, letter stamps. I really liked these. They're like really big and bold. Um, and so, yeah, I created this. I used um, a little epoxy flare from Scrap and Happy Studios down here. Um, and then this collection that I used is an older Jen Hatfield collection. I believe it's from like two years ago. Um, and I still have quite a bit of it left. So that was fun to use up. And I absolutely love, I love the way that this came together. Okay. And then my last one, I actually used um, a fall collection for this one, which was... Paige Evans last fall collection. I can't remember the name of it. Um, and then I used another um, alpha stamp that was my friend's. So it does the pattern and then it also does the outline, but I just did just black. Since I did the stenciling here all around um, with bright colors, I wanted to use just black for my title. And this is my friend and I at the Pride Collection at Target. We had to go check it out. Um, and so we each got some stuff. And so happy Pride. By the way, it's June. So happy Pride, everyone. Um, that is the end of my layout share. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below and let me know which layout is your favorite layout that I've created over the past two months. And thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to spread love and be kind. Bye, friends.